Today I've got a very simple trick that'll make splitting small length of firewood a lot easier. And you have a lot less chance of killing yourself too. Now I've got two lengths of uh, wood here. Um, one is maple and one's a soft wood. And normally when you're splitting, a lot of the time they end up falling. Now right here, this is a decent little spot. It'll be a lot easier to split pieces like this. But if you're on the ground and it's uneven, or if you got an uneven bottom and you cut it with a saw or something like that, your piece tends to fall. And what I've seen people do when they're splitting, now this is a lot bigger of an axe and you really should be using to split pieces of wood like this. Uh, this is all I have here with me today. But what a lot of people will do is when they're trying to split pieces of wood like this, they'll hold it like this and they'll try to keep their, their hand on it and try to split it like this. Now, what this does is this really puts your hands in a really bad spot if you end up missing and hitting your hand, especially if your axe is nice and sharp. Now this one's not insanely sharp, but if I was to hit my hand with enough force with this, it would definitely cause some injury. So what do you do when you wanna split odd shaped pieces of wood like this, or your ground's not even? So what you do is you take your axe like this, and you're gonna hold your piece of wood like this, right? Now what you do is you put your tip of your axe like this on the log, right there. Now what you're gonna do is with your weight of your axe and this downward pressure, you're gonna go like this. Now, as you can see, that dug the ax into the wood. Now it's gonna be a lot easier to go like this. And as you can see, we just split that piece of wood right there. And actually this is maple, it was just a lot drier than the other piece. And then as you can see, we got some really nice length of wood for the fire. So one more time for you guys to make this very clear, this is a knotty piece of wood right here. So like I said, all that you do is you dig that little part of the ax, and you don't even have to swing like this. All that you do is you just poke it on, and then just use that weight, and that just hits it right into the piece of wood and bam, like that. You've got some nice split length for the fire. So using that trick might either save yourself from chopping your thumb off or you know your hand or possibly even dying. But uh, yeah, just really quick, wanted to show you that. Good luck splitting firewood.